What's going on everybody? Travis with RAC Garage and today we're continuing these 36 Ford bumper brackets and forged. They're gonna look sick when they're chrome. I'm finishing those up. It started, I think it started to rain or it got late and I had to push everything back in. But it should be nice all day today. So 33's outside. I have been looking for places there is a a shop right down the roads industrial unit with all the bays you know you get a big you know 14 foot garage door and a door and it's like a sh shotgun I, like i've rented one of those before it's one of those places and we'll see i gotta call them i stopped in talked to one of the guys who worked there made tattoo equipment actually which is pretty cool and he said they're all rented but the guy's really nice and there might be a couple spaces that he's using personally that he could make space for you so i gotta call him today and see what he says hopefully he can make a spot and hopefully it's reasonable i haven't asked the rent um, but obviously if it's more than my mortgage i don't think i want to do that uh, it's just scary i guess i can make that money because i'll have more space to work on more people's stuff it's still scary um so i'll keep you in the loop and see what's going on there but right now i have a little forging station set up. I gotta do one of these again. Oops, there it is. So I gotta start bending this guy back down to meet this, and that's it. Then I can, you know, match profiles and stuff. And then I'll have to bend this one the opposite way to be actually. I don't think I'll bend it yet because I want to. I'll keep these the same side. This one will have to go out more because the first one I did gonna come obviously down up around and like attach to the mounting point here and the second mounting point over here so it's gonna come up and then shoot over and flatten out to attach to this this guy in the end the first one is attaching right here and then the second one's here I gotta get a carriage bolt for that but that's where we're at let's start hammering away Just got done forging the last two. Let me shut these off. Passenger side, oh, driver's side, and passenger side. Gotta clamp them up, true them up together so they're perfect. I'll do that same with that one. These long lengths back here don't really matter so much because they're gonna spread out. This one's gonna go this way, and this one's kind of going straight. So it's not crazy critical to be perfect because you'll never, it doesn't matter is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna clamp these up, put a bolt back in that hole so it's, you know, they're perfect. And uh, you don't know, get grinding. Probably do it in here, even though I don't want to. Actually, I might do it outside. Ah, 33's outside. I'll, I'll pick a spot. It, it's, it kind of sucks in here. <laughs> the more I think about moving to a shop space, the more I'm disliking working here. It's crazy how things happen when you get fixated on something that you think is gonna be better, your mind makes the place you're at worse. 
or the car you're in worse when you want something else. It's weird how it works. Uh, but if I go outside, I'm grinding, I risk hitting the 33 with sparks, uh, unless I move a bunch of things and put it out in the street. Um, and in here, this really doesn't matter too much, but like my glass case, I get that all shitty. I just get just grinding stuff on everything, get all dusty and dirty and nasty. So I don't feel like I'm complaining very often. Um, but that's kind of in the state I'm at right now. I'm disliking my shop space um, and I want to move. So, you know, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna look at a place tomorrow, I think, if he's not busy. 2,500 square feet. It's got two lifts right in the town over and it's all automotive stuff all around, which is cool. Um, all old stuff like muscle cars and shit like that. Uh, there's one guy that does BMWs, but I'll be the only like metal shaper in there and doing old 30s, 40s stuff. So it'd be kind of cool, but enough blabbing. Let's uh, let's get to grinding. I'll do. I'll probably just move to 33. I got these so it matches up pretty well and I'm just gonna grind it till they're equal. All right, so I'm finished, I finished up grinding these clamp together but what I want to do now is kind of uh this one's not too bad this one's not bad at all this side see how it's like fat here kind of skinny here and it gets fat and then it gets fat up here again uh, I want to get my calipers find out like the skinniest portion and kind of just trace it out so it'll be the same width all the way around because I had to kind of skinny up these portions here because I couldn't forge it perfectly shaped. That's why I started out with inch and three quarter straps. Probably get it down an inch and a half or something. So I'm gonna do that, figure out, you know, the correct line, grind it off. And then I can probably start bending them like this one. So I'll probably take the other side, bend one the other way, put holes in it and try to, you know, get these mounted up. Then once I get that mounted up, I can start doing the outer brackets. Gotta get up to half inch with this. I'm just kind of slowly making my way. So this is the passenger side. Gonna bend this one just like I did the other side. Pretty much 90 degrees. I can always tweak it uh, when it's on the car.
Boom. All right. So if I need to tweak one or tweak the other, I should be able to do that on the car. That actually. I'll let that cool off so I can touch it, and then I'll bolt it up to the car and I'll figure out the whole centers of the bumper. Then I'll transfer that to those brackets and I should be able to just, you know, bolt in those two and then I can mess with the outside ones. Almost there. I thought I took a bolt off in here, but I think I took it off outside. Dang it. Where is it? That's the question. Put things in such dumb places sometimes. Well, I don't know. I don't know where I put that, so. So right now, these bumper brackets are in 13 and a half, 13 and a half. They have the same height to the floor. Bags are all the way up. There's tension on the bags up. Everything's, you know, square. I'm using the Bailey English wheel as a marker. So I'm gonna grab the end of it, 54 and a half. I'm gonna move it until this is 53. So I'm gonna move it an inch and a half out I'm going to do the same thing with this, going from a known point over there, measuring out, uh, then moving an inch and a half, because center of the bolts on the center bolts are 27 and a half, and right now we have 28-ish, 28 and an eighth. It's not going to cut it. 27 and a half lands pretty much on the inside of, you know, the bends, and you can't get a bolt on there. So I'm going to get plenty of room. Got like four inches, well, three inches here. I can mess with. So, inch and a half, inch and a half. Well, that too. Now, three inches. So, wait a second. 31. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to do an inch first. On each side, will bring me. Yeah, I can do an inch and a half. I can do an inch and a half. I can play around. Sorry for the confusion. Sometimes I'm a little dumb. I'm going to get the torch, heat it up, and bend it right about the bottom here. Okay. 
Yoni. Both move out inch and a half now. Need to bend these back relatively straight and I'll be able to drill the hole 27 and a half centers and mount up that bumper. And so now, just gotta put a hole in this. Whoops. Dag nab it. Inch and three quarters. And then in the middle. Inch and tree quiz. Look at that somewhere. What's the middle of this? Inch and three quarters. I mean, yeah. Seven eight, seven eight, seven eight. I should have known that. Drill bits just to drill a half inch hole. There's the uh, moment of truth here. Gotta put, I'll put this. Right on my hip. Ow. Man. Damn, son, where'd you find this?
All right, everybody, I had to take care of some tax stuff. I had some tax meetings, getting a bookkeeper, getting an accountant, making this legit, finally. So I was there, didn't get much more done on the bumper brackets, but it is hanging there by itself, only on the two brackets. So it wiggles back and forth, not, not crazy, but you need the second mounting point to really sturdy up the, uh, the brackets. And these are here. So I'll bolt this one up right next to it. Um, I will bend it right at the bottom of that U to kind of get clearance of the bumper first. Then I will just, I think I'll just figure it out from there. Either, I don't know if I'm gonna put a curve in it so the bumper bracket comes out and around, or if I'm gonna have, I probably should. Yeah, I probably should have like a, a curve to it to match up. Go to that hole. Make it hit there nice, drop, pop a hole in it, and get a carriage bolt in there. Obviously, seven on that side, and Bob's your auntie. So yeah, this thing's looking pretty good. I'm really excited about it. Unfortunately, it can't stay on because the 33 doesn't fit in the garage with the bumper is on. Like the back panel of the 33 has to nearly touch the grill for the front door to close. So. I gotta take it back off. So I'm gonna do that now, clean up, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. And if it's not raining, I will get that done. If it is raining, I don't really know what I'm gonna record, but I'll try to do something for you. Maybe a tip or trick or something that I can kind of get some content out there for you. And maybe that'll be better than just a daily vlog. Let's see, let's talk about shop. Okay, so I had a really good conversation with Dano today on shops and the ones I have in you know, my sights of renting. Uh, I was always scared of renting because it was another big payment, uh, but now I've kind of come to the realization, thanks to Dano, uh, that it's a necessary evil because uh, if I can make, you know, X, say rent's a thousand dollars a month and I'm making 10,000 a month, what's a thousand out of 10,000? Like, I can do it. It's really not bad. It's like 30 bucks a, no. 30 bucks a day out of 50, 100 bucks a day. I don't know. I don't know math, but it's really not bad. It's like it comes out to like an hour a day of what I charge to pay for this space. And I think I'm going to do it. Um, so I just got to, you know, bite the bullet and then there'll be a big move to get this stuff out of here. Uh, but the space I'm looking at is 2,500 square feet. And I was thinking in my head, like, I don't have a good concept of space. Oh, I didn't until I thought about it this way. And I was like, 2,500 square feet, like, is it gonna be big enough? I don't know. But then I remembered that this shop space is like 550, 600. I don't remember what it is. Let's say it's 500 square feet. The shop would be five times the size of it. So, you know, needless to say, there's enough space there for me. So I could work on four vehicles and maybe even five with room to work around and also have a space the size of this shop if not bigger for my machines that's pretty exciting you know i i'd rather not rent of course i'd rather have a big shop on my property yada yada uh, but it's just not big enough and i know everyone's just add on to the side add on to the front then what i'm two times the size of where i'm at yeah it would be nice but I still don't think I'd be able to get enough done with twice as much space. I think five times as much space, a little under five, I think it would work out pretty well. So that being said, hopefully a shop is in the future. Just gotta iron out the details and save up for that big first and last payment. All right guys, you know, a little update. Maybe uh, I'll incorporate some of the business stuff into these videos. Maybe it'll be uh, interesting. Not like the exact numbers of everything, but I'll tell you what's going on with it. Because it is interesting, I guess. I'd like to know. Uh, so, I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. That's it. See you tomorrow.